Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-Level Maths. Here we're looking at how we would calculate the area under the x-axis using integration so we can answer questions from exercise 13f. So the only difference really that, uh, that happens when we're finding the area underneath the graph is that we'll get a negative answer um, rather than a positive answer. So, um, for example, if we have a go at this question here, y equals x, x minus 3, so two obvious roots here at 0 and 3. If we want to find the area that's bounded underneath the x-axis here, then it's going to come out as a negative number. So we'll just have to flip that over to make it positive because we're calculating an area, obviously. Let's just show you that in action. So the area is the integral between 3 to 0 of x x minus 3 dx. So to integrate this, expand the brackets and integrate. So increase the power by 1, divide by the new power. Um, and we're going to substitute now in 3 and 0. So we do the substitution of 3, take away the substitution of 0. And we end up with a final answer of minus 4.5. Now, what we'll do here is because we want to find an area, we'll just make that a value positive. So the area is a positive 4.5. OK, so that's the only little uh, adjustment you have to make if you're working out an area that's underneath the x axis. Um, you have to make it positive. Um, there's also something that you have to take into account of when you're working out the area. Um, such as this uh, question here where we've got an area that's above the x-axis here and an area below the x-axis here. Now if we try to work this out all in one single integration then we'll have part of this area, a negative area, cancel out a part of this area that's positive. So what we have to do here is split this up into two separate parts of our question and add the areas together. So what we need to do first is to work out this area that's in between 1 and 0. We um, integrate between 1 to 0. And we're obviously going to expand our brackets. Uh, integrate, substitute in 1, take away the substitution of 0. And then that will equal minus 7 over 12. Now what we'll do here is because we want to work out the total area, we'll make this positive. So the area that's in between 0 to 1 is just going to be 7 over 12. Now let's look at the second area here between 0 to minus 3. So just a reminder, 0 is the higher number, so that needs to go on top. Minus 3 is the smaller number, so that needs to go on the bottom. And doing exactly the same thing, we can pretty much use some of the workings we've done before here. And substitute in 0, take away the substitution of minus 3. And we should get a positive answer here. Yeah, positive 45 over 4. So all that's left for us to do now is just to add these two areas together here. So the total area here is 71 over 6. So that's our final answer for that question. Let's just see what will have happened if we were to have done a straight integration between minus 3 to 1, which would have been the incorrect way of doing this question. We would have expanded our brackets um, integrated, substituted in 1, take away the substitution of minus 3, and we've got 32 over 3, which is not the same as 71 over 6. If you calculate it, it would have been this area, taken away this area would have been our answer here, um, but that's not the correct answer, that's not the correct way of doing it. You do it separately, 71 over 6 would be your final answer. Right, OK, then your turn to have a go at this question here. Pause the video and see how far you get. Right, OK, well done for having a go at this question then. So let's treat this as area number one and area number two. So we're expecting area number one to come out as a negative value. So we're going to integrate here between zero. And now let's work out these boundaries. So we've got x, x plus three, 2 minus x. So that point there is obviously going to be 2 and this point here is obviously going to be minus 3. So it's between 0 to minus 3 of, uh, let's expand these brackets down here. So it's going to be x squared plus 3x for the first bracket. And expanding that with 2 minus x. So we're going to get minus x cubed uh, plus 2x squared minus 3x squared plus 6x. Um, and then it's going to be... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So it's going to be minus x cubed plus, uh, no, we'll make it minus x squared in total, uh, plus 6x dx. 
So let's integrate it now. So it's going to be minus x4 four over 4 minus 3x to the 3 over 3 plus 3x squared between 0 down to minus 3. Now in this case here we're going to substitute in 0 which is going to give us a 0. So it's going to be take away now minus 3 substituted in. So it's going to be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 divided by 4 which is 81 over 4. So that's minus 81 over 4. And then the next part here is going to be uh, we can work this out here. So that would be 27 minus 27, double negative here, we'll make it positive 27. Uh, 27 divided by 3 is 9, so it's going to be positive 9 for that part there. And then this part here is going to be take, no, add for the double negative uh, 27. So our final answer here is going to be uh, 81, 81 over 4. Uh, the negative of that. So the final answer we get here is minus 63 over 4, but the area will obviously be 63 over 4. So that's the answer to area number 1. The answer to area number 2 is going to be the integration. We can jump straight to the integrated step here probably, because we're integrating the same curve. x cubed over 3 plus 3x three squared and now this integration is going to be in between 2 down to 0. So in this case here we substitute in 2, so we're going to get minus 4, um, 8, so that would be minus 8 over 3, and then plug this in here and we're going to get a plus 12. So simplifying this and we're going to get 8 take away 8 over 3, and we're going to get 16 over 3. So all that's left for us to do now is to work out total area by adding together 16 over 3 and 63 over 4 and we'll get 253 over 12. There we are then. So that's the final answer to that question there. So have lots of practice on exercise 13F. It's going to get a little bit more difficult in exercise 13G, so make sure you've had lots of practice and you're really familiar with the content. Persevere through those difficult questions and ask your teacher for help if you need any. Thanks very much for watching.